Uh, the first day consists of a uh, classroom. We'll spend about two hours in the classroom uh, going over uh, plan of the week. Um, after that, they go into what we call the swimmer, which is shallow water initial memory mechanical release device, which basically teaches them to start thinking on the water using their reference points and using handles and levers to, uh, to eventually help them escape the uh, overturned vessel. After that, they go into what's called the M-Sweat, modular uh, shallow water egress trainer. Basically, uh, we strap them into a seat, flip them upside down, uh, they release their seat belts, uh, jettison a window, and then pull themselves through the uh, egress, another stepping stone towards doing the uh, RBS dunker, which they'll uh, go upside down and, and, and egress out of that. Second day of training starts at 8. Uh, we get them in here and we start right off the bat, put them in the RBS. Uh, we start the rides as uh, we have one person in the front seat, we have a person in the back seat, and uh, we, we run them through four rides throughout the course of the day. And um, so it'll be one ride out the front in during daytime conditions, um, one, one ride in the back seat during daytime conditions for each student. Going through the Dunkin' Donuts experience was actually kind of nerve-wracking a little bit because it's not a natural movement. Because your buoyancy goes up, so you want to swim down to get out, which is completely unnatural thinking. So. Then we switch to night, night conditions where we'll do a night ride with a student in front and a night ride with a student in the back seat. definitely makes you have a much more appreciation for the boat from a safety standpoint as well as an egress standpoint about things you need to do and you know things you may not have known prior to that could potentially be you know harmful inside the boat or dangerous or the unknown things that are inside the boat and it become you become much more aware of what's going on inside the boat when it's you know you're underwater and it's dark and it's you know there's just a lot of variables and th th all those variables kind of come together here you know at the training center it was wonderful training I, I like to tell the guys that you know now they are the SMEs of you know underwater egress for for an RBS. So they need to come back and you know just not keep that training in to themselves, but they need to spread it to to the rest of the boat crew.